What's going on guys? Welcome back to Reviewing Your Customs, episode 14, and we have a very special Halloween horror edition for you guys. By the looks of it, it looks like we have some really unique packaging with some of these pairs today, so I'm very excited to check some of these out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. First up, we have a pair from Sneaker Queens Customs. All right, let's see. Dylan, thanks for letting me send these in. Hope you enjoy my Razor Air Force Ones. Michaela, Sneaker Queens Customs. Little bit of stickers, some business cards. Always good to see that branding, but let's check out these shoes. Oh man, these are absolutely wicked. I got to see these on Instagram beforehand, but seeing them in person is always so much better. And man, I just love a good Air Force One custom that really walks that line of being somewhat simple, but yet still incredibly detailed. I mean, it's such a timeless shoe that when you do a theme like this, it just perfectly fits the silhouette. So instead of your all white uppers, these feature an off white eggshell type colorway. And I love that it's not perfectly solid anywhere. It just really helps sell the overall grungy vibe to these. Then you have your barbed wire print wrapped around the outside of the swoosh and right along the front of the toe box. That same barbed wire print is also located on the tongue tags. Another great little touch added onto these that totally fits the theme is that all of the lace holes have been slightly cut up by a razor just to slightly tear into that leather and rip it up a bit. That same effect can be seen on some of the holes of the toe box also. It looks like the air branding along with that stripe on the midsole has also been cut into and that's gonna lead us directly into our blood splatter print featured throughout. I really enjoy the color selection for the blood splatter itself on these. I definitely think that it would have been a mistake going with a much more saturated fire red type color. So this is a much darker, almost raspberry type color. This also definitely isn't just your average toothbrush type splatter. There's some really unique brushwork featured throughout and I love how you also included this same effect in a much lighter tone on the sole of these. Taking another closer look at that barbed wire print wrapped around the Nike swoosh and you get to see just how simple it is, but yet there's so much detail packed in. I mean, this is just a killer job of using a paintbrush. Some of the final little details on these are the very subtle branding on the back heel. We have the crown logo on one shoe and the addition number on the other since there is only going to be 12 pairs made of these. So just some of my final overall thoughts about these. I think that this theme was executed perfectly on this silhouette and what's really unique about these, something that you never hear about in custom sneakers, is I think that there's a really decent chance a pair like this could look even cooler down the line. If these were worn in, scuffed up a little bit further, that could really add to this theme. So that's something very distinct about this pair. So overall, great job. I'm a huge fan of how these turned out. Next up, we have this massive box from Taste of Affliction Designs, and I think that this is probably going to be the biggest box we've featured on the show, so I can't wait to see what's inside. All right, this thing is epic. Super high quality, durable box on the side. HR Giger Jordan 1 from Switzerland. Hopefully, just by hearing that name, some of you guys might have a guess of what's inside. We have a note here. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick. Dylan and team, thanks for having my custom artwork up to review. I appreciate the opportunity to get my artwork out for more to see. Thank you for everything you do for the community. This custom is a tribute to one of my favorite artists, H.R. Giger, more widely known for creating the Xenomorphs for the Alien series and creating Syl from the movie Species. He is one of the pioneers in biomechanics artwork and has tons of amazing pieces outside of the movies he has worked on. This shoe was 99% painted with an airbrush or three. The only paintbrush used was for the teeth on the Xenomorph. Fine detail with metallic paint is almost impossible. Definitely agree there. The toe cap and heel of the shoe are finished in gloss to help give that wet, shiny look from the Xenomorphs. The rest of the shoe was finished in factory finish. P.S. Feel free to cut the string. Chris from Taste of Affliction Design. All right, before we open these up, I have one quick question for you guys. Let me know down below. Are you bigger fans of Alien, which is much more a horror movie, or Aliens when it becomes much more of an action movie? If there's anybody that knows how to do sequels though, it's definitely James Cameron. 
I love them both. If I had to pick just one though, I probably am going with Aliens. But let's go ahead and see what we have inside now. Perfect cutout for the shoes. All right, moment of truth. Let's see these. These are absolutely mind blowing. This is one of the best pieces of airbrush artwork that I have ever seen in my entire life. I mean, just take a look at this stunning detail work on the back heel where you have the Xenomorph's tail, for example. I love the placement of these airbrush skulls on the toe box and there is some killer texture work featured with them. All of the Nike swishes have been removed to feature some of the larger portraits on these. So on the outside of the left shoe, we have the Xenomorph portrait and I love that you went a little bit darker with it. In a lot of the alien movies, these creatures tend to be hidden in shadow. So it definitely works well for you here. Then on the outside of the right shoe, you have the Sill from Species character and I love the choice that you made here also of going with that black and gray portrait and again I mean I'm just amazed at the amount of detail that you're able to pack in with an airbrush within a portrait at this scale. Now onto the insides of both shoes you have all of your little embryo pods and I'm instantly reminded of that scene when Ripley sets all of them on fire and then that queen alien is pissed. Right next to that though on the lower eye stay panel I believe that is the skin from the face huggers. The tongue tags feature a tribute to HR Giger and then these are all all wrapped together with a sweet pair of black leather laces. It was absolutely a great choice to go with the gloss finish on some of these alien skin panels because you definitely feel like you'd be able to run your finger right across it and feel some of that slimy texture. Just the amount of detail that you're able to pack into all of these various skin textures and other tiny little elements is like I said, some of the best airbrush work I've ever seen done before. And overall, I truly think that this pair is just a masterclass at looking at a shoe as a 3D object and not just 2D elements pieced together because you really start to appreciate these the more you look at them from all of the different angles, when you're looking from the top down, viewing the toe box, to then when you're moving around the shoe, looking at the back heel, just the way that you wrapped all of these various skins and biomechanical elements across all of the different panels, these are downright amazing. So an incredible job by you, Chris, and definitely a great tribute piece to HR Giger. Hey guys, just a quick little reminder to make sure that you get all of your entries in for the DCF Heritage Contest. The deadline to submit is three weeks from now, November 19th. All you need to do to enter is grab a new pair of shoes and paint them based around any type of heritage theme and whatever that may mean to you. Then you just wanna make sure to post them to your Instagram with the hashtag DCF Heritage Contest and send us an email with your submission. Once we gather up all of the entries, then we are going to narrow it down to a final four, and then those four pairs will be sent in to us for a very special edition of Reviewing Your Customs. The winner will then be voted on by the public, and there is a $500 grand prize, and that includes a $350 gift card to angelusdirect.com and a $150 gift card to dejesusinc.com. Good luck to everybody who plans on participating, but now back to the show. And next up, we have a pair from my fellow Chicago native, Oscar, AKA Canary Kid. All right, we got our good guys wrapping paper, a nice little bow and a Merry Christmas letter to Dylan. <laughs> Let's see here. Roses are red and London is blue. Canary Kid, a fellow Chelsea supporter. You'll love to see it. In collaboration with Shoebaker ATL and Reclusive Soul. So as we all know, every so often, there's a pair of custom sneakers that just dominates the airwaves for a little bit per se. You see them everywhere you look on Instagram and this was definitely one of those pairs. Canary Kid released 15 of them on network and they were an instant sellout. Actors from the Chucky TV show were even reposting these, trying to find out where to get a hold of them. So let's go ahead and check them out. Ah uh, yes, these are as good as advertised. Just a couple of the bonus items included that come from the shoe baker. We have the good guys hang tag that's attached to the shoes and then the added little Chucky knife made out of wood. I love that. So for just a quick rundown of some of the key elements of these, we have Chucky's iconic sweater featured on the medial panels. 
directly behind the Nike swoosh, and then that same swoosh is done in a metallic silver to resemble Chucky's favorite weapon of choice along with the blood dripping from it. Then on the toe box you have your good guys packaging, branding, and then the rest of the upper features Chucky's overalls along with the dyed, aged out soles. This overall is a phenomenal Chucky piece. Custom insoles are also included that match the same branding that you would find on the good guys packaging. As we take a closer look at that Chucky sweater print, I can tell an extremely high level of precision was used here. You definitely took your time to make sure that all of your lines came out nice and even, and it was absolutely worth it because this looks super crispy. I think that you made a great choice going with this slightly desaturated grayish blue color for Chucky's overalls, and you didn't feel the need to do any type of denim effect or texture. You just opted to include the pattern from the overalls, along with the yellow stitching, which is a great touch here. Just the perfect amount of blood was included on these, dripping right onto the midsole. I love that you opted to do the Nike Air branding on the tongue tag, the same exact style as the good guys text on the toe box. That is very well executed. Then the only element left about these that you opted to keep factory was that white tongue. I definitely think it's a nice breakup here, so I don't mind it at all. You went with the bright orange laces and the red sock liner, some of the last elements that you need for any good Chucky theme, his hair of course. And just a quick note for anybody who's ever gonna be airbrushing a sock liner, it's always a good idea to tape off your size tag just so we don't get any paint on there and give it a little bit of a cleaner look. I think that this pair just flat out doesn't work as well if you opted to keep that white midsole, so dyeing these soles this beige orange color was definitely a great move. So anytime you're doing a character piece like this in which you're not including a large portrait that right away lets everybody know who it is, you're trying to find the perfect balance of some of the key elements that represent the character. So when it comes to Chucky, for example, some of those key elements are gonna be his striped sweater, his denim overalls, his red hair, his knife, and then maybe you opt to include some of the good guys packaging, or you wanna include some skin texture when Chucky's face starts to become stapled and stitched back together. And the way that you balance all of these different things out together in the planning stage is how you come up with the near perfect factory looking Chucky shoe seen here today. So great job by you, Oscar. And our final pair of the day is from good friend of the show, Rupsy Banks. And if I know anything about Repsy, I know that the packaging is going to be elite. All right, looks like we got some goodies here. Let's see. Love, inspire, create, repeat. That is a message we can all get behind. And then on the back, same like the bag that it came in. I love you because you're human and all of the text done in that raised lettering. This is a super high quality shirt. Definitely go and check these out from my buddy Repsy Banks if you're interested. So I know that the theme for this pair is actually based off the TV show Dexter, which is my favorite show of all time. And if I know Repsy at all, there's probably gonna be a message from the ice truck killer or somebody else inside here. Let's go ahead and take a look. <laughs> so we have the Dexter Morgan Forensic Tech ID with the lanyard. I am 100% wearing this. And then let's go ahead and check out our note here. Mr. DeJesus, our team at the Miami Metro Police Homicide Division is contacting you in regards to Dexter Morgan. Through rigorous investigation, we have come to learn that you happen to follow Mr. Morgan very closely. We've also learned that you hold an esteemed position in the custom sneaker world by having a large reach to millions of viewers across the globe. That reach can be very effective in helping to locate Mr. Morgan. As we're sure you know, Mr. Morgan is a very dangerous man. We have reason to believe he is responsible for over 100 homicides. Mr. Morgan is an elusive serial killer. He is extremely meticulous and clean, making sure to leave little to no evidence behind. Mr. Morgan prides himself on only killing other murderers. Though this method may seem righteous to some, Mr. Morgan has no right to play judge, jury, and executioner. During an investigation into one of Mr. Morgan's homicides, our detectives recovered a pair of sneakers that belong to Mr. Morgan. These sneakers are no average sneaker. These are a one-of-a-kind custom-made pair of sneakers specifically designed for Mr. Morgan. We delivered the sneakers to you in the original packaging that they were found in, a black garbage bag. This is the same method he used to dispose of his victims. The sneakers are covered in what we believe to be his victim's blood. The leather panels on the sides and toes were taken out and replaced with clear vinyl. The shoelaces and tongue tag are also see-through, something we've never seen. 
We've come to believe these aspects represent the clear plastic used in his kill room. The insoles are made of black leather with Mr. Morgan's bloody footprint on them. We think the black leather represents his gloves, and finally the Nike swoosh. This is by far the most interesting aspect of the sneaker. They are see-through and filled with his victim's blood. We know Mr. Morgan likes to take souvenirs in the form of a blood slide with a drop of his victim's blood. We have reason to believe this is the inspiration behind the swoosh. During our investigation, we've learned the identity of the people responsible for creating these sneakers. A Phoenix-based sneaker customizer named Rupsy Banks is responsible for the concept, design, and blood work. We hate to say this, but we think he executed it perfectly, no pun intended. A sneaker reconstruction artist named Tags Custom Footwear is responsible for removing the leather panels and sewing in all the see-through aspects. We're absolutely positive that this creation would never be possible without him. We're hoping you could ask your audience to follow both of these men on Instagram very closely. These men are always up to something and we could use as many eyes on them as possible. Rumors are starting to spread that Mr. Morgan might be making an appearance on November 7th. Ooh, we am I excited for Dexter and New Blood. If we're able to draw enough attention to these sneakers, maybe we can locate Mr. Morgan before he has the chance to hurt anybody else. Mr. DeJesus, on behalf of the Miami Metro Police Department, we thank you for your continued genuine support for the sneaker customizing world. You're truly an inspiration and a pivotal pillar in the community. Regards, Miami Metro Police Department. Now that is how you craft a story, folks. Okay. Just like Dexter throws all the body parts in the sea, let's go ahead and see what we have inside. And, oh man. <laughs> this is crazy, 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 man. Rupsy Banks never disappoints with the wrapping. Let's go ahead and pull this apart. All right, let's go ahead and pull out the tissue paper so you guys can actually see behind those clear vinyl panels. Wow, I mean, these are just absolutely a world-class pair of custom sneakers. Like I mentioned earlier, Dexter is my favorite show of all time, so much so that my firstborn son is named Dexter, but please don't tell him that if you ever ask until he's a little bit older. At least I can fall back on Dexter's lab for now. But right away, as soon as you think of the Dexter TV show, the first thing that comes to mind is always gonna be blood. And rather than just going with a painted blood splatter here, it looks like we have some type of liquid latex and that blood splatter print throughout looks absolutely phenomenal. The craftsmanship is absolutely top-notch here where any leather panels were removed and replaced with a clear vinyl. They come with a Dexter blood slide key tag, but without a doubt, my favorite element about these has to be the blood slide swoosh. So you have a red liquid inside that you can actually see swirling around, and I mean, come on, that is just a genius add-on for these. The clear laces are a perfect touch for these. I've never seen something like that before. And another great little hidden feature is that behind the tongue tag, we have some dark passenger branding. And what I love about that is that's something that only a real diehard fan would get. But when you're taking Taking on a theme like this, it's great to have a really nice balance of it being instantly recognizable by somebody who doesn't necessarily know the entire lore of the show, but then when you have those hidden little details for the true fans, that's something that'll make them appreciate it even more for sure. Another one of those somewhat hidden character details is the bloody footprint on the black leather insole, since Dexter always wears black leather gloves anytime he's trying to cover his tracks. This is also a matter of selecting the perfect base shoe for the job. Rather than going with an all white Air Force one, you found one that already has a red outsole, red sock liner, red stitching, just helps add to your theme. These just got me so much more hype for Dexter to be back and please try to make up for that absolutely terrible finale. This has to be without a doubt my favorite pair of Dexter custom shoes that I've ever seen made. And something that I really wanna take note of here is how important it really is for you to do themes that you're really passionate about. Something like this just doesn't come together to this degree unless you really care about the theme or concept that you're working on. So you could tell that these are absolutely a passion project. I mean, he had to tag in another artist to help him replace some of the paneling. There's all of the hidden little character details that we talked about. And quite frankly, there's very minimal painting on these for an artist who's a great painter himself. So when it comes to actually executing a theme from top to bottom, when you really love what you do, it's gonna show through in your work. So just a great job as always done by our buddy Repsy Banks. And I truly mean this man. 
but I hope that these don't get lost in the mail when I try to send them back to you. There you have it guys, another episode for the books. Please make sure you go and follow all of these incredible artists that we featured today. We saw some really great work and I wanna say thank you to all of these artists for sending your pairs in, allowing me to review them. I have by far the coolest job in the world being able to do something like this. So your continued support really means a lot. Please be sure to go ahead and give this video a like if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed and everybody get out there and just create.